How do people usually describe planets? Massive, freezing, boiling hot, seismically active. Let's admit it, shiny is not normally on the list. Unless we're talking about a world called LTT 9779b, which might be the shiniest planet we've ever seen. This exoplanet, which is basically any planet outside our solar system, is ultra-hot and acts like a giant space mirror because it's covered with a thick layer of reflective metallic clouds. This unusual world is located about 264 light-years away from our planet, and the most amazing thing about it is that it reflects approximately 80% of all the light its parent star sends its way. For comparison, Earth reflects a mere 30% of the light it gets from the Sun. The bizarre exoplanet is even more reflective than the shiniest planet in the solar system, Venus, which reflects around 75% of sunlight due to its thick clouds. LTT 9779b is five times as large as Earth, which makes it the largest space mirror ever discovered. By the way, this world was found by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite mission in 2020. But the highly reflective nature of the planet was uncovered later thanks to a follow-up investigation conducted by the European Space Agency Exoplanet Hunting Spacecraft, CHEOPS, which stands for Characterizing Exoplanet Satellite. Now, imagine a planet the size of our ice giant Neptune. It's a burning world floating close to its star. If you stepped on its surface and looked up, you'd see heavy clouds of metals floating over your head, raining down titanium droplets. The planet's size, coupled with its insane temperatures, allow astronomers to classify the planet as an ultra-hot Neptune. Now, a planet's high reflectivity is a quality known as albedo, and in the case of our shiny world, its albedo mystifies scientists. All because most planets that are not ice worlds, or planets with thick layers of reflective clouds, like Venus, normally have low albedos. Their atmosphere, or surfaces, simply absorb the light coming from their stars, preventing it from getting reflected back into space. And initially, researchers were sure that LT9779b would have a low albedo. After that, by no means was it an ice world. Not with the surface temperatures reaching 3,650 degrees Fahrenheit on the side of the planet permanently facing its parent star. It was supposed to be too hot for water clouds to form. Even clouds of metal or glass wouldn't be able to form in such a scorching climate. Astronomers expected a planet like that to have its atmosphere destroyed by its star, which would leave behind a lifeless, rocky world. That's why discovering metallic clouds was so unexpected. Of course, researchers were eager to find out how such clouds could have formed. It had remained a mystery until they decided to think about the cloud formation in the same way as condensation that appears in the bathroom after you take a hot shower. There are two ways to steam up your bathroom. You can cool the air until the water vapor condenses, or you can keep hot water running until clouds form. It will happen when the air in the bathroom becomes so saturated with vapor that it won't be able to hold it anymore. So, researchers came to the conclusion that, most likely, the atmosphere of the shiny planet became oversaturated with silicate at one point. And then, metal started vaporizing due to boiling hot temperatures on the permanent day side of the planet. But if you think that the reflective nature of LT9779b is its only unusual feature, you might want to hear this. The exoplanet is an example of an extremely rare planetary type and ultra-hot Neptune. Astronomers have been searching for such planets for decades, but those preferred to remain a mystery. The fact that the planet survived so close to its star might be linked to its high reflectivity. Some experts believe that the metal clouds covering the planet probably reflect light and prevent the planet from overheating and evaporating. 
Plus, such a highly metallic atmosphere is much heavier and harder to blow away than any other. Now, about 850 light years away from Earth, a planet called WASP 121b orbits its star. This planet is a hot Jupiter, which means it's a gas giant moving very close to its star. And because of such a short distance, the planet is also insanely hot. The average day temperature there is around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly, just like our previous shiny world, this planet also has metallic clouds floating over its surface. But that's not the only oddity. WASP-121b has a bizarre oblong shape. Can it be because the planet is tidally locked to its star? It means that one of its sides always faces the star, while the other is always turned to the darkness of the cosmos. In other words, it's always daytime on one side of the planet and nighttime on the other, which causes crazy temperature differences. Researchers think it might be the reason for the metallic clouds. The water cycle on WASP-121b is also pretty bizarre, to say the least. On the illuminated side, the atoms that make up the planet's water get ripped apart by the insane temperatures. After that, they get blown by winds moving at 11,000 miles per hour to the other side of the planet. There, much lower temperatures allow the atom to recombine into water molecules. At the same time, the nighttime side is cold enough for metal clouds consisting of iron and corundum to form. When these clouds migrate to the daytime side of the planet, they vaporize and rain down metal on the planet's surface. But if these clouds don't seem impressive enough, I've got more. Astronomers predict that the planet will rip itself apart in the next several million years because of its incredibly fast winds and wild temperatures. Plus, the gravitational pull of the planet's parent star also plays its role in this dark prediction. Since WASP-121b is so close to the star, the star's gravity pulls the planet into a weird oblong shape and makes gases like iron and magnesium leak from the planet's atmosphere. This pull is so strong that the planet is always on the verge of a tidal disruption. If it ever happens, the planet will come apart for good, metallic clouds and all. Just 20 light years away from the sun, which isn't such a great distance when we talk about space, a bizarre rogue planet is roaming our home Milky Way galaxy. But even though this planet doesn't orbit any star, it still has an incredibly powerful magnetic field. It's 4 million times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. The exoplanet also produces amazing auroras. When it was discovered in 2016, astronomers were almost sure they had detected a brown dwarf, which is an object too large to be a planet and too small to be a star. But later, scientists got some proof that the space object wasn't big enough to be a brown dwarf. The planet sure is a mammoth among its peers. It's 1.2 times as wide as the largest planet of the solar system, Jupiter, and more than 12 times as heavy. Astronomers think the exceptionally strong magnetic field helps the planet produce the auroras. But the most curious thing is that they're generated in a different way than auroras on Earth. It might be because the exoplanet's moon helps the planet create these light shows. Another planet you probably shouldn't set foot on is WASP-76b. There, it rains iron on the night side of the planet. And the temperature on the daytime side rises up to 4,300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to vaporize most metals. This exoplanet is a bit larger than Jupiter in terms of size and is located 640 light years away from Earth. Such terrifying weather conditions in this world are caused by its unusual orbit. The distance between the planet and its parent star is 10 times shorter than the distance between Mercury and the Sun.